When NBA 2K23 dropped replica builds, it took the 2K community by storm because we finally thought we would be able to make identical copies of our favorite NBA players in a 2K. We, we finally thought we can get pound for pound, attribute for attribute, physical for physical versions of the Greek freak, LeBron James, KD, Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, LaMelo Ball, any player we finally thought we could get those players and then have their nicknames, which in my opinion would have been a great idea because we will finally get away from playmaking shot creator, inside out score, glass cleaner, defensive anchor. We will finally have bills that accurately depict the players and what they could do but we came to find out that it didn't work it, it just wasn't executed completely right now given the bills were okay and yeah i guess you could say they kind of played like the people that they were supposed to mimic but overall we can admit the bills were trash they weren't great but then it led me to believe and led me to the title of this video of finding out what else could 2k add to the game to bring life into the community the same way the replica bills did because for me the replica build thing put a smile on my face because it finally had me believing that 2k was trying that they were really making an effort to bring something new to the franchise to make people want to continue to play the game i mean for all intents and purposes i mean it's not like we're madden where you're just getting a roster update every single year yeah 2k has this moments where you feel like you're getting a roster update but we feel we felt like they were trying this year when they dropped the replica bills so in this video we're going to talk about things that 2k could add that 2k players would pay for i mean things that i would literally pay to have in this game and the first thing we're going to start off with is being able to remake our current build that we've already grinded we've already maxed out the badges i want to be able to edit it now what do i mean by that i mean let's just say right you have a uh face up four the same as my bill right stats are on the screen i find out now after playing the build and kind of getting the feel for the game that i don't slash as much i'm not a i don't dunk as much i don't lay up as much sure i might get a couple points here and there from just rim running but it's just not my play style what if i could edit my build once after making it or after doing a quest in the game i will be able to edit my current build so that i wouldn't have to make another build just to take my layup down a couple points or my dunk down a couple points and i could put those points into maybe defensive some something on the defensive category or put it more into playmaking you know how game changing that would be do you know how much time that would save for so many people and encourage people to want to create and continuously make new builds i feel like this is a win-win for everybody involved because let's just say you find out you made a build right and you need an 86 ball handling to get let's just say pro dribble moves and you have an 85 85 ball handling now you have to remake a whole new build put more vc into that guy grind the badges all over again because you just wanted one extra point in ball handling that's nonsense why can we not just edit our current builds for a vc fee or a one-time thing that is locked behind a quest or a paywall i would pay for that i wouldn't mind paying for that i want to know what you guys think about that one already the next thing i would do is paying to have my build already grinded now this is kind of like a 1a and 1b of my first point but how about for people that just don't have the time to grind builds? Do you know as I still play 2K with only four or three days left in the season, I'm still coming across people who aren't 99s overalls. I'm still coming, over, coming across people who are 80 somethings, low 90s. I'm still seeing 70 overalls. And it's not that they don't want to play the game, that they can't grind the game or that they don't have the VC. It's just they don't have time to play the game. They don't have time. So what about the same way Fortnite has a battle pass that you can completely pay for from level 1 to 100, why not give us the option, again can be hidden behind a paywall or a quest, the ability to buy a build and max it out immediately. At the end of the day, the people that's going to pay for it are going to pay for it and the people that won't, won't. 
at the end of the day, people are going to always pay to win. Pay to win is a part of every video game there is. It's never going to go away. It's never going to change. In Call of Duty, you could pay for the rose skin and literally be in the ass crack of a corner of a building and nobody's going to see you because your skin is all black and it literally doesn't register with the shadows. If you play Apex Legends, the flatline skin, there's so many skins in Apex Legends that are literally paid to win. I don't understand why we couldn't just have that in 2K as well. Sure, some people are going to be pissed off. Oh, this guy's day one already has all his bills and his badges. But what would be the difference from where we are right now? As me being a 99 overall with all of my badges whooping up on somebody that's an 80 overall. What is the difference? Now, get it. Sure, you might want some people to, you know, play the game the right way and enjoy the hard work that you put into the game. Watch the story, play the game all the way through, get them to experience the game that you guys have spent all year making. So I get it, which again goes back to my original point. Why not just put it behind a paywall or put it behind a quest? Not F the paywall part, put it behind a quest. You cannot pay to upgrade a build until you complete XYZ amount of quest in the game. I don't see what's the problem with that. I don't see why that could be a bad thing. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I think a lot of people would pay to have that. I personally do. I, Jesus Christ, I have one build right now that I would love to play, but I just cannot mentally get over the hurdle of having to play not only that first game against Chef where we're like in the summer league thing, but then I gotta play a shit ton of micro quests and on top of that if i got to do any other side quests like playing college all over again or having to make a freaking song or rap or no fashion things my head is going to explode like I, I i literally cannot get over the mental hurdle of having to make another bill and then grinding it even with the rebirth thing i still have a set amount of badges i have to grind out I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that for the second, third, or fourth time. And shout out to Joe Knows and those guys that literally have whole channels dedicated to creating and making new builds. But even with Joe Knows, I noticed that he just reaches out to guys that already have these builds because I don't blame them. F grinding. <laughs> I don't want to grind no more builds. No more locked doors. No, I don't want to grind another bill, yo. I don't. And the last thing, the last and final point that I have is paying for player archetypes and body styles. Why is this still not a thing in NBA 2K? We are 23, we're here 2K23 and we still cannot have the exact archetype of Giannis. Why can I not have his height, his wingspan, his weight, his attributes, and not be punished for it? Victor Wimbanyama is gonna be in 2K, the next 2K, what, next year? We want to be 7'4 and not be punished for being 7'4 trying to copy his build. If there's a player that can do it in the league, if, there, if you have the files to make a character, why can we not have it accessible us to make those builds? My friends were making a great point the other night. Dwight Howard's haircut is not in the game. It's in the files. Why is it not in the game? If I can look at a player have a haircut, why can I not have that haircut? If you have LeBron James body type in the game, why can't I use that body type? Zion, Curry, DeMar DeRozan, LaMelo Ball, Joel Embiid, Jokic. I mean, sure, the slender, compact, all of that crap is cool, but it doesn't define what you're really looking for out of these players. We know what we want our players to look like, and we know how we want them to feel when we play with them. Pause. So why can I not make a replica of these players and have these builds? These are things that I would pay for to have an NBA 2K23 or any 2K. And it still kind of blows my mind that these things just aren't in the game. And at this point, sometimes I question if these things just aren't in the game because they want to continue to have something new and inventive for the next game. It's kind of like with the iPhone. It's like they give you one feature that other phones already have to make you want to buy the next iPhone. And you're sitting there like, man, I can get this with other phones. But I mean, I'm an Apple guy, so I get it. I'm gonna stick to Apple no matter what. But at the end of the day, it's like, damn, Apple, you giving us shit that we should have been had. And the only reason you're releasing it now is because you just want more people to keep buying it. And the third lens to a camera so people can be like, ooh, we got a third lens. And then, you know, they buy the next iPhone. Well, I feel like they do that with 2K. 
The replica build thing was a great idea. Kudos to you guys. I love the idea. But that's something that should have been in the game. Been in the game. That is not something that should be considered new. That is not something that should be new. That is old. That should be a revamped concept that continuously changes with every single 2K. A replica build. And if the replica builds are lackluster, then do what you do with my team. Make those builds comparable to how they would be in my team. If Curry has a 99.3 and he can only get like a 70 ball handle if you copy his real build in real life, just give him the damn 86 ball control at the bare minimum. Or allow us to start off with a player's archetype. What I'm, and what I mean by that is that their actual physicals, their actual builds, their actual play styles like KD or something like that. And then allow me to tweak it to what I would like within the parameters that you guys set. So I don't make something that's just completely God tier if you want to regulate the game that damn bad. But anyway, man, before this becomes a long ass rant, this is probably the longest video I've dropped in a while. Let me know what you guys think. What would you pay to have an NBA 2K 23 or 24, 25 or 2K in period? What would you pay to have? I'd love to hear it. And with that, I am gone.